This is during Scotia Bank's uh, Giller Prize Ceremony. So this is a big black tie event, right? You can see they have put Lord knows how much money into this event. This is uh, very rich people sitting at Scotia Bank's Prize Ceremony. Uh, celebrating probably their best salespeople or their c- CEO lifetime achievements and garbage like that. But Scotia Bank is funding the genocide of the Palestinian people. It's coming from Palestinian youth movement through its $500 million stake in Elbit Systems. I've talked to you about Elbit Systems before. They are one of the largest weapons contractors connected to the Israeli apartheid regime. I believe they're centered in uh, Britain in the UK. Anyway, I'll let you uh, uh, watch. As, so the the two people with signs have already gotten on the stage where the video begins. And you can see, <laughs> but they gently try and rip down one of the signs that says stop funding genocide or something like that. And anyway, it's all, it's hilarious and pathetic. And the, these people, these incredibly rich, incredibly douchebaggy people are so wildly pathetic. Okay. So he tries to rip okay. the signs away. They start playing music too as they continue to kick out the protesters. You heard some people booing, but some people, that's the thing is when you get incredibly rich people in a room like this, some of them understand it's a genocide that continues to be perpetrated. Some of them don't get it. Some of them are more than willing to justify a genocide. Um, But some of them were actively booing, you know, how dare you interrupt our our foie gras and our champagne as we cheers ourselves for funding a genocide. Anyway, great job to those protesters. I consider them my spirit animals. You guys rock. And by the way, this type of stuff has been going on all over the place, not just across the United States, Canada, the UK. There are people interrupting events. These these rich mother frackers, mother fudge nutters should not be allowed to have their events in a nice, calm and peaceful manner and just sit there quietly and enjoy the fact that they are funding the murder of children on a daily basis. On some days, Israel has killed over 400 children. The average is like 140 children murdered a day by Israel. That's the average since October 7th. So they should not be allowed to have their events. Don't let them have their events. Like interrupt them, do what you need to do. And it, it, it's amazing to see them confronted with this stuff because they don't know how to deal with it.